Okay, we need to not look at her feet. Hey guys, it's Maria. And it's... What else? What's your name? Chris. Yay! We're gonna see a mofa jing. How do you say it? Do you know how to say it? Mofa jong, mo mofa. This thing, if it works. This is a hair coloring thing that comes in this little container. This one is the silver one. Well, it's called Ash, and that one is blue. So I'm gonna be trying on the silver one. He's gonna try on the blue one. There's only like six colors. Got these at Amazon. They range about $11, $12, some are $6. I don't know what the difference is. Money? <laughs> you don't know the difference between $11 and $6? That's a, that's a $5 yes. bill. The difference is a $5 bill. Okay, uh, there you go. I bought these two in a pack for $17. There were some cheaper ones, but I bought these because they came in faster, so. Usage after the net hair. Take a small amount of mud in the palm of your hand, circle, rubbing uniform, try to get on your finger, and then gently pull the finger from the hair root from the bottom up, smear evenly. If accidentally into the eyes, immediately rinse with water, children do not touch. Not to hurt the hair, easy to wash. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna change into a shirt that I don't mind getting dirty. You ready? Yes, I'm gonna put my glasses. So okay, I can so see. we're probably gonna do it one at a time, so I'll watch you first. What? No, we were gonna do it at the same time. Um, I just wanted to see if your hair would catch on fire first. Why would it catch on fire? I don't know. People put these on with their hands, they just rub it in. This one is sold as gray, not silver. It smells like hair product. It's pretty silvery if you ask me. It smells funny. It doesn't smell like super strong though. It smells more like soap. Oh, this feels so weird. Ready? No. High five. Oh, that's it looks like a lot nice different paint. than... It looks like finger paint. It does. Let's go. I've always wanted to have silver hair. I've dyed my hair a couple times. It's been red and purple. Whoa, look at this, Chris. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, my hair is usually super tangly. Now it's gonna be even worse. Look, look at this. Do you see that? This feels kind of gross. It's, it's hair okay, I need product. To be what do you expect? Gentler with my hair. <laughs> okay, I look old. A little bit. I feel like I'm applying glue to my hair. I'll clean. My turn. My hands are super clean. There's no nothing. So what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to touch up a couple of the spots that were like really not gotten. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting a little bit on my fingertips, rubbing it like this, and then just kind of touching up those spots. Does it hurt? Yeah. I mean, it, it's kind of like, it, it, it's holding really stiff. Okay, I think we should stop this until like we brush our hair and then show them the final results. After a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot of brushing, it's not that stiff anymore, but it's, it feels kind of like a chalk. I definitely don't like the silver gray ash color. It feels a little sticky and like, I didn't get the back. Wait, I couldn't even do the front. For we'll my type of hair, it doesn't work very well because you definitely have to brush it afterwards, but when you brush my hair, this is kind of how it looks like. It's goofy. Yeah. I feel like another color would have looked. You don't like blue? Yeah, like we're gonna try the blue. Let's now. do blue. Like, the blue looks really good on your hair. Or 
towards the fact that I brushed it so much or that I put too much or not enough. It makes your it's, eyes it's stand hair. up. It was just hair with hair product. It's really good on you. Well, I, a lot of, I, I, I just think it's get your beard in your yeah, eyes. Yeah, I did that. So the thing is about it is a lot of hair products, it's a lot harder to use the same product for guys versus girls because for guys, we can just like put our hair that way and be done, that's it. Whereas a lot of girls with long hair, it's all flowy, it's everywhere, it's like everywhere. Whereas mine, it just kind of stays that way. So it's not really have to worry about it. Yeah, like if I go and try to make my hair blow. See how she's doing that and moving her hair? It's like not flowy. It stands up a little bit. I mean, I'm sure if I brushed it more, I brushed this side more. Plus, I put more on this side than this. It's a little soft, but it feels kind of funny still. And it does come off a little bit on your hands. Yeah. But it's, it definitely comes off really easily with water. It would look really good if you're like dressing up for costume and stuff, but I definitely wouldn't recommend it for everyday use. It takes too long. We've been doing this, like my hour. hair, for like, like an, hour. an hour and a half. And I still gotta get the back. And now we gotta leave, because we gotta eat dinner in his house, so. Dinner time. Make sure you follow him on, uh, what's it called, YouTube. What's it called? <laughs> this is your platform. You have more subscribers than I. You should know how to say the words YouTube. Follow him on YouTube at Pikes from Gaming. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye. Are your hands clean? No, no. Uh, here. Do the thing. Bye.